uh, forum ourselves, myself, himself, and all the other young presidential aspirants. And then uh, we had cause to discuss severally on several issues that has to do with Nigeria. We've met uh, severally and uh, had several meetings with him as of that time of the presidential uh, uh, something. And I have viewed him and viewed his psyche on the on issue of Nigeria and things like that. And I saw in him, even right from that time, that um, uh, something was going to come up on the show. And then uh, he tried that uh, we aligned together. But because of, uh, I think, the way he think, I, I, I didn't really go in line with him. He, he had called me severally for so many other things, not be before this issue of his, this is a revolution, but uh, uh, I have given him my opinion on things and uh, what I think, uh, how I feel things should go. And then... Uh, um, Nigerians are, worried, uh, are getting worried. Uh, a person of certain group of people that believe in the country's electoral system and will have to come up to buy for such positions, mm -hmm. but also go back uh, like an alternative. In the first place, mm -hmm. if you believe in that system, why go the uh, revolution? That is, that is that is that is my that is that is my take on it. You see, the reality is, uh, Shouri, you said you came out to contest for the office of president. Like I said, we were there as young presidential aspirant in Nigeria. Uh, we had meetings, we several meetings. Uh, first of the work out that we had was Shouri. He was the first to work out because it was a consensus. There was a consensus among us, the young presidential aspirant. There was an agreement what we agreed on. Be even before we got I, to I the saw level, the, I saw the clips. Thank you. Even before we got to the level, so the stage of work out. So, which means even as at the time we were doing the young presidential aspirant uh, meeting and trying to see how we can strategize, and as at that time our thinking is to future one person mm. among ourselves so that all of all the, the youth, young candidates, the young candidate will now support him. You understand? And go around the country to clamor for support uh, across board, either from the north to the south, east to the west, to clamor for support and call the young Nigerians to come out and vote a young Nigerian uh, who will represent a... Uh, that, that was what was agreed among us. And we even uh, agreed on the once that happens, how the positions should go across the six geopolitical zones. And even among us, the, the young presidential aspirants were giving out, uh, giving up our sacrifice uh, 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 sacrifices and, and giving up our, our aspiration for one person. We all agreed on that. But once we saw it coming that he was not going to be the one that would be picked for, um, for that consensus candidate, he stayed a workout. Even before the issue got matured to the mm -hmm. level that uh, we would all agree uh, to conclusion, he was stage a workout. And I try, I called him about twice. I said, look, we cannot conclude. I am from the north. I am from Kaguna at that time. And then um, even if you are looking at it, well, I would have been with uh, Dr. Alkali, who was uh, under APC, then contesting against uh, Buhari, uh, aspiring against Buhari too. We all called him. And then uh, I'm a B. Uh, I'm a Buhari and things like that. We all discussed this. I said, look, come. We are even from the north. The rest of you are not northerners. Mm. But even at that, we agreed to come and do this young presidential aspirant, uh, but to agree to future one person. We are not likely going it to be... Says if you are, as you take the candidacy of the president, the other one produces the... the that was, the, where, the, that the was where we are heading to. Makes sense. But the point is, he saw it because there was these things in him that we saw that... Uh, personally, I told him, look, if I were to go to for election, I'm not going to vote for you. Even if I'm not being voted as the person that will fly the flag, I'm not going to vote for you. And I told him my reasons. And I said, unless and until you adjust those things, uh, I'm sure most of the members will not want to go for you. And I guess he saw that thing coming, and that was why he just uh, staged a workout even before we go to the level. And by the time he walk out, we continue until when we go to a level where we discover that um, the thing is also being one-sided. Uh, there was a, a, a cooked plan already on how the team is supposed to go instead of allowing you to go the normal way you should go. I also staged a workout as of that time and I asked Ahmed Buhari and Dr. Al Ali to also work out of it and they worked out with me uh, on that end. and that was the end of that uh, the, that it really, really never saw the light of the day. Now, coming back to the issue of the revolution of uh, a revolution now of Shori, you contested for the office of president believing that you have the capacity to deliver now, if you believe in the system, that is why you are coming to contest, featuring yourself, going around the whole world, even getting donations and what have you to come and contest. And at the end of the day, you couldn't get to where you thought you were going to get because he was already assuming he's the president. I he got over 40,000 votes. Oh, yes, he, but he, before the election, he was already assuming he's just the president. You understand? He was uh, not willing to go along with us. So at the end of the day, you believe in a system. You believe the system is going to work. You said you are going to do this, you are going to do that. And after 
the, the whole election you got only 40,000 votes. And then, uh, which means, even the you that you thought believed in you never believed in you. Even though those that were clamoring and following you, you, you thought they were with you, ne were never yeah. with uh, you. As I show you who had that courage mm. uh, to stage such, mm. some other Nigerians believe that actually could be the way because of the challenges uh, they feel little is done about. Mr. Joe, the revolution is... And that is the danger. Thank you, Mr. Joe. When Joe. that... Revolution, uh, the revolution is a very serious issue. That word revolution, I started it. But mine was a tomb revolution. I call for a tomb revolution. Not coming out to protest, but use your tomb to change the system. That was what I was campaigning for when I was aspiring for the office of the president, as at that time, along with the Soares and the rest of our colleagues that we were doing it. I was the, I initiated that, but I said my own was a tomb revolution. Use your tomb. Not your mouth, not your power, not going on the street, but your tomb. Quietly go to the pulling wood, use your tomb and change the system. So I call it the tomb revolution. But calling all after that, there was this other guy that was in America that was flying a, a helicopter, a chopper, and things like that. They started, it was from that time, show this I started having that thing, that there were going to be a revolution and things like that. I said, I'm not part of it. I cannot be part of it. I believe in Nigeria. I believe in the Nigerian system. I believe in democracy. So I cannot be part of such things. The best way for us to go mm. is to mobilize the youths, go for polling units, and vote out whoever we feel we don't want the person to continue to be a leader. Vote in whoever we think can do it. And we can only do that through democratic means, through mobilization for election. So if after the first one now, first attempt, it did not work, then work, wait for 2023. The mobilization can go on. It, nobody stops you from mobilizing. You can have so many ways <coughs> of mobilizing people, not necessarily under a political party. When I was doing my own, I was not doing it under a political party. I was doing it under the auspices of one adult, one youth combination and governance for a better Nigeria. What we are saying is there must be mentorship in leadership. There must be an adult and a youth coming together to contest for a position so that there will be uh, some, you teach somebody something. Okay. So mentor, mentoring, mm -hmm. just to mentor youth. So it is not about going out on the street. It is an old fashioned to go out on the street and the protesting and most especially the issue of revolution. That is treasonable felony. Mm -hmm. That is trying to break up the country. We have a democratic government, an elected democratic government. So you have to go with the tenant of democracy in doing whatever you needed to do. Not to go outside and begin to think you can mobilize unconscious youth to come and protest against a legitimate government, it is not done, it cannot be done. And that was why the issue of revolution, as far as Nigeria is concerned, it, there, just, there is just no need. The best revolution you can have is to do a revolution at the polling unit. Mobilize the youth, let them come and do it. Or else, conference, 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 yes. Engineer Idris is talking about National Assembly. Yes, the National Assembly are the representative of the people. I agree because the people voted them mm. in and they are supposed to be the mouthpiece of the people. But the challenge we are having with the members of the National Assembly of Nigeria is do they really come back to the people to ask of the opinion of their people mm. so that they will carry the opinion of the people to the assembly and then deliberate and agree on? No, they don't. 90% of them don't do it. They do what they feel. They sit there and assume mm. what their people want and speak for them without consultation. Without consultation. All right. uh, so the national conference, mm. or uh, looking at the national conference, there are so many ways to it. Now, I agree with him to an extent that there are so many conferences that were held in the past. Mm. But the implementation of the, what, what, whatever come out of the conference is always the problem in Nigeria. And you can start. You had the vision 2010 uh, uh, of Abacha. You have the vision 2020. You have of uh, Omar Musa Adwa. You have so many other. You have the National Sovereign Conference that was done by Jonathan. But where are those documents? Where are they being implemented? Most of the things that were discussed during all this uh, vision, vision and conference, conference mm -hmm. are still relevant. They can still be relevant. They can still be used. Okay. Today, bring uh, out those things and look at the ones that are relevant today mm -hmm. and implement. And if you must poll a conference to hear the view, more like a, a referendum mm -hmm. of Nigerians to know what the, where the hearts of Nigerians bid, you can do that. But my only fear is, as at this moment, if you do that, with this uh, issue of revolution now, of sure, even though it did not see the light of the day, and mm. it will never mm. work as far as Nigeria is concerned. I am not saying I am depriving Nigerians of their right, 
but there are better ways to channel your complaints and grievances than coming out to protest against a legitimate government and say you want to bring the government down. Nobody will support that. I will fight people that right. want to do that. Okay, let's uh, just quickly through the lines. Okay. If you have just uh, joined us, you're onto the program National Agenda, which is coming to you live from the NTV studios. So we're looking at ways of improving, of moving uh, Nigeria forward, of course, looking at state uh, of the nation on the program. To participate on the program, numbers to call 0814568735 or 0906514369. The numbers are displayed on your TV sets. Let's hear your contribution, your name, where you're calling from. Uh, you move straight ahead uh, with your contribution.